now for the main event. Stone Cold! Stone Cold! <laughs> he is praying that Will Smith wins. Like, please, Lord. Jada, I love you. G.I. Jane 2, can't wait to see it. All right? <laughs> That was a nice one. Okay. I'm out here. Uh-oh. Richard. <laughs> oh, wow. Wow. Will Smith did. Now, just so you know, your audio isn't out. This is the actual clip from the oh, actual oh, broadcast. Okay. In America. In America. In, in America. Greatest night in the history of television. Okay. So now, now we okay. will show you what was the uncensored so version that went out in a lot of places. This one will be the Japanese one, they, they, but both Australia and Japan got un -air, uh, got unedited footage. So yes. check this out. <laughs> oh, wow. Wow. Will Smith just smacked the shit out of me. Will Smith did it. Get my wife's name out your fucking mouth. Wow, dude. Yeah. It was a GI Jane joke. Keep my wife's GI name Jane no joke out your this. fucking mouth. I'm going to, okay? <laughs> I can, oh, okay. That was a. Uh, Greatest night in the history of television. Okay. Okay. So we are here to uh, give a documentary out, to give an Oscar. Okay, before right. we get into it, I have to play this. I have to just to light the situation. Keep my wife's name out your fucking mouth. Wow, dude. Yeah. It was a G.I. Jane jump. Keep my wife's name. I'm going to, okay? Nigga, uh, look, look. Uh, there's, there's a lot of serious stuff to talk about this. I had to break it because I know no, how I have, serious no, 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 it's about to No, 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 I know because there's one other one that I think I sent it to you guys that fucking killed me. If I, can, I, I just got to make sure I can find it. That's Kanye. I'm not looking at that one. All right, let's, uh, let me, while you're doing that, let me yeah, talk about this. Yeah, yeah. So, we, so Court, now, there has been so much behind it. Of course, everybody started out, oh, this was fake. No, it's not. It was real. So as for those listening on the podcast, found it. <laughs> it's you sent this one. This was the this was the fucking Dragon Ball one, bitch. You don't remember this shit? I thought you sent that. Uh, initially, you did, and then I just sent. I resent it because. Uh, oh, because we had to show it to Matt. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. All right, y'all. So this this one made me laugh. If you're familiar with Dragon Ball Fighters. Uh, Will here is Goku. No, no, I took it off on purpose. Will, Will is we Goku. We both were taking it off at the same time. Yeah. I, all right, here, just, just watch, y'all. Oh, Richard! <laughs> <laughs> all right, let's get into it. Let's get into it in seriousness real quick. All right, let's do this. Yeah. So for those who listen to the podcast, we played the clip of Will Smith slapping Chris Rock at the Oscars. Yep. Now, many people are saying that Will Smith got mad at a joke and he can't take a joke. What are your thoughts on that first? Because I have I have a thoughts and I want to go on. I'm going to go on kind of a rant. So I want to get yours out the way. I've been all over the place with this, man. I, I genuinely have. Um, I'm not a fan of of the fact that it seems like Chris. There, there's clearly a feud between Chris Rock and the Smith family. Um, we we can trace it back to. If you don't mind me playing this other clip, real go quick. ahead. Um, when Chris Rock hosted the Oscars back in 2016, he had this to say about Jada. What happened this year? What happened? People went mad. You know, Spike got mad, and Sharpton got mad, and Jada went mad, and Will went mad. Everybody went mad, you know? It's quite like Jada got mad. Jada says she's not coming. 
protesting. I'm like, is, is she on a TV show? Jada's going to boycott the Oscars. Jada boycotting the Oscars is like me boycotting Rihanna's panties. <laughs> I wasn't invited. <laughs> oh, that's it's not an invitation I would turn down. Uh, but I understand, I, you know, I'm not hating. I understand you're mad. Jada's mad, her man, Will, was not nominated for concussion. I get it, I get it. Tell the truth, I get it. I get it. You get mad, she said, it's, it's not fair that Will was this good and didn't get nominated. Yeah, you're right. It's also not fair that Will was paid 20 million for Wild Wild West, okay? <laughs> <laughs> okay? Things, you know, but, you know. So, so, there's clearly a feud going on here. Um, a lot of people are saying, you know, Chris didn't know about her alopecia. I find that hard to believe when black Hollywood is as small as it is. And Jada has been very vocal about her alopecia and what she's been and how it's been emotionally affecting her and all that. And I'm not here for the bullshits of, to be honest, if her hair loss bothers her that much, they don't come to the Oscars. Fuck that shit. F absolutely fuck that shit, man. Like that's that's you should be able to go wherever the fuck you want to go. That's 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 bullshit to me. So Chris's joke was out of pocket. It was an off the cuff joke, by the way. So you remember before we talked about how a lot of these jokes were were worked on. Anything with the host was, but Chris as a presenter, that was an off the cuff remark that he made himself. Um. So the part of me that saw that happen. You know, knowing that Jade is affected by it and him going up and defending his wife. I'm on his side for that. I think he should have done it a better way. As I said, and a lot of people love to take my shit out of context, and this is where reading comprehension is fucking crucial. I specifically said I agree with him defending his wife. It shouldn't have come to blows. But you're talking about an illness that has clearly been affecting her how, however long she's been dealing with it and whatnot, and that's her husband. He's watched that firsthand. Now, there's other things here. For those of you that have read Will's book, Will talks about a lot about how his entire life he has felt like a coward. His dad used to beat the ever-loving shit out of his mom, out of his family, and he talks about how for him, he has always hated himself and felt like a coward for not defending the people in his life. So... Knowing all of that and knowing that he has been the butt of jokes for 18 months or longer now with his relationship with Jada, this feels like a straw breaking the camel's back type situation. Again, do I think he should have slapped him? No. Because I'll tell you this. If someone makes that joke to me and they're standing like two feet away from me, I'm lunging at you. I'll be honest with you. But the fact that Will took the time to walk up on the motherfucking stage, wind up, hit him, and then walk back, you know what I'm saying? What would have probably been a better move, he could still yell the same thing he fucking yells, but just do it from the audience and don't put hands on Chris. So, all that being said, what really pisses me off about this whole thing, a lot of people are showing their fucking ass as far as racism goes. A lot of people have been dog whistling all sorts of thug this and all sorts of shit that and fuck you used to be my favorite black man in america bullshit y'all on some racist shit over this there are ways to talk about this and how either one of these men were in the wrong and not fucking be racist about it that is what has pissed me off about this more than anything because in the same breath that you have people like Kareem Abdul-Jabbar, and I understand his point about this because Jay and I were talking about this earlier and he doesn't like that Kareem said this one of the things you realize as a black person in America, whether you're famous or not, unfortunately, everything you fucking do ends up being a, a fucking symbol for your goddamn people, which is bullshit. We shouldn't have to do that. We should just be allowed to be fucking humans. And you judge me for me, as Martin Luther King said, not to quote Martin Luther King right now, but judge me for the content of my character, the color of my skin. Fuck that shit. You should not let Will Smith be the fucking face of black people. That's bullshit. Unfortunately, that's reality, but that's fucking bullshit. And I'm sick and fucking tired of people coming at us as a whole and saying these fucking egregious things over this moment where to be honest with you all y'all white black brown latin or brown and latin asian all of that everybody knows somebody in they hood to be doing the same fucking shit so miss me with that fam
you can address the situation without having to fucking say this fucking insensitive ass shit. That's all I have to say right now. Jay, your thoughts, man. Um, okay. Give me a second. I'm rewriting the last bit of my notes. First of all, you are absolutely right. Will Smith has been the butt of jokes for more than 18 months with his relationship with Jada Pinkett Smith. He has taken it on the chin repeatedly. Like you stated, that man had a breaking point. It wasn't just the joke. Mm -hmm. It was he was at his breaking point. I need people to stop going, he can't take a joke. When you have so much shit compound, that's the thing. Now, for everybody going, well, Will was laughing at it first till he looked at Jada. I can't tell you a man on this motherfucking planet who has not laughed at a joke directed at his woman or in the close by his woman watched and then, his woman's face and literally felt like you just got every- stabbed. Bro, all of a sudden you feel like you got stabbed. You go, oh, fuck. And you're like trying to figure out what to you do. You change your whole motherfucking mood. All right? That's the thing. To Winston, stop saying a lot of people. Say what it is. White people. White no, people, no, 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 because I'm not saying all white people, but it has I, but, been. But I need you. But I need you to hear me out. It has not just been white people. It is the been primary. Wh- the primary. No, it has been across. No, no, I know it's been across the board. I know it's been across. I'm just saying. Primarily, what I've seen is now all of a sudden white comedians and white people. Oh, I was a fan of Will Smith and this and third. Let me tell you something. Will Smith has been squeaky motherfucking clean in the press for thirty years. Over thirty years. That man had an emotional outburst one time. Now, all of a sudden, y'all want to say he's emotionally unstable. It's toxic masculinity. He's a bully. Fuck out of here. That man is human. I am a stand-up comedian. You're going to say, Jay, so you're saying if you tell a joke and somebody rushes the stage, what would you do? I've had somebody rush the stage on me. And guess what happened? With my left hand still holding the mic, my right hand took their motherfucking ass down, threw them in a hammerlock, and kept telling jokes on the stage while I had their ass on the ground. I know everybody's not like me. I get it. But I'm just saying people hit a breaking point. I have been at comedy shows where people have hit a breaking point because they have other shit in life. Now, to say, well, don't sit in the front at the Oscars. They move people around when the categories happen. Not only and that, you, Will is up for best actor. Where the fuck, fuck you else you going to sit? sit? You going to put the nigga in the back? You going to Rosa Parks my nigga when he's up to win best actor? He's not. So again, to sit there and say you can't take a joke, he can. That man is under a lot of stress. And again, there's the constant scrutiny. And also the people going, well, he didn't do that to August Alcina. Here's another thing I need a lot of motherfuckers to understand. And I'm sorry for swearing so much, but I got to get it off my soul. When Jada Pinkett had him at the at the red table, they openly stated that when she fucked around with August Alcina, they were separated and trying to evaluate if they were still going to stay married. They also had said at one point, yes, he was he changed it that they had had an open marriage. But guess what? There's no cheating if they're both allowed to do what they do. Because even Jada said Will has done some things. It's just that we don't know of all the people he's dealt with. So for people who trying to shit on Jada, like, oh, your girl can be for the streets, but a nigga can't talk about a joke about her hair, fuck out of here. Again, this is not about a comedian. I'm tired of seeing comics going on social media. Oh, people going to be emboldened to rush the stage now. Motherfuckers been running up on comics for years. Years. Let's not act like this shit started March 27, 2022. Let's not act like Will Smith is the first person. Will Smith, you saw on TV, but it's consistently been happening in the comics. One of our Karens we did is a woman taking a dumb ass on stage with Atheon Crockett. For people to act like this shit is brand new, it's not. Comedians understand we run that risk sometimes. Now, I also say this. People keep saying don't go to comedy shows. Clearly, you've never been to a comedy show in the hood. Because Nigga, I- can I tell you something? This shit pissed me off. I had obviously I had my take and shit like that. And someone tried to be like, well, clearly you've never been to a comedy show. Bitch, I didn't stand up for six fucking years. So nah, I got one dick. better. <laughs> you've never been to a show in the hood. And I'm going to tell you why. It's guaranteed at a show in the hood, there's always going to be one dude who try to be too cool for school in the, in the crowd. The comic going to see him, going to talk about him, right? The comic may kick jokes and the nigga in the audience going to say, hey, man, go on, on, do your little jokes. Now, Depending on the comics reception of that, they're either going to A, move on, or B, go at dude some more. 
I have seen niggas get approached in comedy shows in the hood all the time or better yet after the show. So to act like this is brand new, it's not. Unfortunately, it's a thing that happens. It has always been a thing that has happened. So, yes, again, when people say, oh, it's a G.I. Jane joke. Why would he be so offended? G.I. Jane was a good movie. Vince, you ain't probably watched G.I. Jane. It's not the fact of the joke itself. It is the fact that Will Smith has been the brunt of jokes for 20 plus years. Again, he kept catching jokes because he was a clean rapper. Never forget he had to drop Mr. Nice Guy and a lyric in the song said, Wendy Williams, keep talking and I'll buy your radio station. I need people to understand this consistently. This is not against Chris Rock. And also, this ain't a freedom of speech First Amendment thing because it's not the fucking government. Stop doing that shit. Freedom of speech applies to the government silencing you, not from repercussions. Again, I've stated as a comic, I've been a stand-up comedian for 13 years. I've been blessed and fortunate to travel this country telling jokes. I have told jokes from the hood of some places to the rednecks of spots. I have done jokes in spots where I've had to be like, oh, shit, I might have to pull back on that because I'm in a redneck-ass town. I barely got cell service, and I didn't check in on Facebook and let niggas know I was here. Nigga, you talking about getting killed? I, that, that's a lot going on. All, 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 all. <laughs> Again, I, somebody just said in the chat, real quick. Mm -hmm. Somebody says, "I said Google Corey Holcomb, D, Corey Holcomb, DC Improv. He fought three dudes in the crowd after joking about them because the niggas came at him." Now, again, I know people saying this, this is the Oscars, et cetera, et cetera. Here's where I'm gonna break down what what Kareem Abdul Jabbar said. He said in part that Will Smith's actions basically embarrassed the black community. This is something else that's got to fucking stop. When white people do something, they do not reflect the entire white community. They do not reflect the entire Irish, Italian, et cetera, et cetera. It is only when black people do something that the entire community is supposed to bear the brunt of that on their shoulders. Fuck you. And to say Will Smith need to be in therapy, guess what? The man is open and he's been in fucking therapy. So to sit there and try to say, to act as if a man cannot have a human emotion, yes, it might have came at the wrong time. Many of us have had that situation. So please don't act like you're better than him. But then to everyone sitting there calling and saying, oh, he needs to go to jail. Suck my dick. Because Chris Rock ain't pressing charges. So guess what, bitch? It's not about you. And that's to a lot of y'all internet faves out there. And I said it on Sunday and I'm going to say it again. A lot of y'all faves showed they racist ass. That's a lot of your faves are the ones that sat there and had black squares on Instagram, BLM and Black Lives Matter in a fucking profile and sat there and would protect black women. And when a black man protected his black woman, now all of a sudden you got a fucking problem. Fuck you, suck my dick. I'm sorry, yeah. I'm so upset, but it's been really pissing me off because again, it is like, yeah, I've seen some black people say some stupid shit. And again, people are like, oh, he should give his Oscar back. Then Roman Polanski needs to give his back. Harvey Weinstein needs to give his back. Well, that's the Black one. needs to give hold his on, back. Hold on, Sean hold on. Sean Penn needs to give hold his on. back. Hold on, time out, time out. The thing that gets me more than anything, this, I, this notion that this is the darkest day in Oscars history, other than the fact that all those abusers and, 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 and rapists and all that kind of stuff have, have been able to host Oscar gold, go and look up when John Wayne charged the stage and attempted to fight Littlefoot, who went up there to reject Marlon Brando's Oscar. He tried to run up on that woman. Go look it up, all right? Miss me with that shit. Because at the very least, and, and, and a lot of people will talk about that shit, at the very least, this is two dudes, a woman that did, did literally nothing other than the fact, please stop making Native Americans look so bad in cinema. And John Wayne tried to run up on her. So I'm, I'm I, it's, the, it's this fucking hyperbole. It is this insane hyperbole. This is the worst thing that ever happened. He's such a thug. Oh, that's the shit that pisses me off. Because it again, been, yeah. Judd Apatow talking about something. He could have killed him with that slap. Shut your ass. What? Come on, man. I'm, I'm, look, I know a lot of people saying, Jay, you can make a lot of statements and you could potentially ruin your career. I, I'm not going to ruin because I'm not going to just, just be honest with yourselves. Look, so many people say, oh, no, I can't be racist. But your actions speak otherwise. The words you are quick to post speak otherwise. Because if you're going to check, your, check yourself before you say certain things. Make sure right. you know I got I gotta call I gotta call it a skate pot one. They have been very contrarian the whole time. I let it slide, but this shit right here will embarrass himself and ruin the Oscars. Did Will embarrass himself? Yes. 
But for you to say something along those lines of will ruin the Oscars, and I understand the only person that that really would have ruined that for, understandably, is Questlove, because immediately after that he won, and a lot of people had to rewind to rewatch his speech, which was a beautiful fucking speech. But when you consider all the things that fucking happened, I understand that this is what we've been talking about the last few days. Miss me with that. It, ru it ruined the Oscar shit. All right. It was a shitty fucking moment. You know what was a shitty moment? Mm -hmm. When they made Casey Affleck present with Brie Larson. No one's, you want to be quiet about those moments. Because remember, it's just, hey, just, just look. All I'm saying is, y'all. And look, Escape Pod will apologize. Yeah, he apologized because he had he understands that. But again, here's the thing I keep bringing up and what y'all keep missing, evidently, for 30 years, that man been squeaky cleaning y'all eyes. 30 years, he been the perfect little dude, the perfect black dude for y'all. For 30 years, he's been the respectable Negro for y'all. But one time now you want to hang him to the cross. But you only do that with black men. You only do that with black men. I can, you have, people have never done it with anyone else because you know why? Everyone else is allowed to have a redemption arc. Everyone else is allowed to make a mistake. Everyone else is allowed to say, oh, they're human. He had a human moment. So to sit there and say that all of a sudden everything is tarnished when, out of one time because it's the Oscars, get the fuck out of here. I'm just... <sighs> All right, that's that's all we really need to talk about this, man. The only other last thing was there was there anything else that you wanted to get on about this at all? Um, oh, oh, here's one other thing that happened at the Oscars that has nothing to do with Will uh, that we missed in our original segment, uh, where Tiffany Haddish ain't playing these fucking games with these stupid ass questions. Check this out. Do a little a little costume change. Um, I, I'm not wearing a costume. I'm wearing Dolce Gabbana. <laughs> It's called an evening gown, darling. This is not, no one's paying me for this. I paid for it. It's custom. Thank you. Time of death for me right now. You look gorgeous. This is not an acting gig. This is my life. This is what fame look like. This is what success look like. This is what money look like. This is what it look like. It's what it look like. When is your book coming out called This What It Look Like? And I will just read the entire that book. That book's not coming no time soon, but I curse you with joy will be out in November. And Layla, the last black unicorn, will be out next month. You're doing so much right now. Okay. You I'm just, you know, trying to accomplish a lot of things before 50. What are you doing? Uh, well, I, I'm wondering something. You're out here with no shoes on. I'm jealous. <laughs> no shoes on. I'm Here's Where are you the thing. From? I'm from Chicago. And you out here with no shoes on? This is warm weather to me. I know. It's hot out here to you, right? <laughs> Nigga, that last one. I have never seen a black woman just, just with such, what you doing out here with no shoes on? Mm-hmm. I'm jealous. Like, nigga, that last line roasted the fuck out of here. What you doing with no shoes? Like, that woman realized very quickly how outclassed she was by Tiffany Haddish and realized she, she was she like, tried, but then when she was like, where you no, from, nigga. Chicago? I was done. Look, nigga, as a host, you know, you tried, you tried. If you fuck up, you try so hard to get footing, and you gotta pray that they're gonna let you do it because Tiffany didn't give her a Tell goddamn itch. I love my sister to death. I've been with Tiffany Haddish before she came up and everything, and I've been riding with her ass. So also, Tiffany said, Tiffany has caught a lot of scrutiny because she praised Will sticking up for his wife. Uh -huh. Now, you may not like the reasoning, but again, she made a good point. It's good to see a black man still stick up for a black woman. We have been that. Have we not had this discussion on the show numerous times about how black men do not seemingly stand up for black women? I'm sorry. I just need you to read this. Read the, the sweatshirt. Okay. Just want you to read the sweatshirt real quick. Shouts out to Legacy One Media uh, who did that for us. But for her to read, old girl's soul, and the way she, she's like, no, baby, this is success. This is money. I bought this. I bought this. There was an article in Teen Vogue that said Chris Rock is not your your not you and Will Smith is not your old abuser. And it was like it's right. Stop trying. But again, it's been it's it's been mainly the only the only thing I will say, and I am slightly on the side of folks that have said this because again, in the same way, if we're going to say that there's dog whistle terms that are racist against black people, there there are dog whistle abuser terms, and the only thing that I you gotta call Will out for that. Other than the fact that he obviously did the slap, is the fact that he used the term "love will make you do crazy things." That is a universal term that abusers use. 
I, that's the only thing. And you, you th th there's not, there's not another way around that conversation. I understand why some people got a little triggered by that because that is a literal dog whistle term for people that have been abused. No, I understand that. I, I, I get that. I understand that. And, and for lack of better words, cause I hate using the word, it can be triggering to some, I understand that. But in the moment, we all are like, yo, what does he mean? Love will make you do crazy things. Again, that man had that emotional breaking point. I, I understand. Disagree. No, no, I'm not. And what I'm saying, I'm not, I'm not saying that to disagree with you or to argue at any point. I just want to, it's like we're collaborating yeah. on that at the same time. Yeah. So no, for sure. Again, for sure. For people to say that man need therapy and all, he already been in therapy. Again, the man is at the end. I need people also to remember this. No matter how much money is in a person's bank account. No matter how many times you see them on TV, film, on the radio, et cetera, et cetera, guess what? The one thing is always the common denominator. Hmm. They're human. And humans have regular emotions. Some are able to buy out their feelings, some don't. Nonetheless, streamlabs.com slash blurs in the hood slash tip. We appreciate your support, your love, and donations if you want to get questions and comments in things like that streamlabs.com slash blurs in the hood slash tip all right y'all so uh we i'm have... sorry can i address this real quick yeah yes this is yes this is hitting someone is, is the most... yes it is yes it is there have been many times people have been pissed off the point you had to slap the shit out of somebody on the street again I i'm gonna say this and i'm gonna, I'm gonna leave it be with a skate pod because I'm, I'm gonna get too heated a lot of y'all's comments in this in this chat with this, a lot of people on Twitter and Facebook have shown you've never had to have you've never had your ass whooped in the streets and you've never had to whoop nobody's ass. That's what that shows. You've never had your ass whooped and you've never had to whoop nobody's ass. You've never had nobody in your face so much you had to beat the dog shit out of them. That's emotion. That's an anger. You can you can have an action that is not sponsored by emotion. It's just a random act. But you can also have an action. Cheryl, that is, have you that been is, here? Who else is on our mind? I, I, it's fine. It's fine. I just, just chill out, Jay. I got it. You literally, to that point, um, you literally to that point can have a situation where an emotion can be at the at at, at the core of that. It can it can go both motherfucking ways. So, um, look, hold on. Give me a second. Just take us to the next story. Yeah. Real quick. We have one story left. So another part of the Oscars in which we didn't mention, because he can tie this in to the other one. I didn't put it. I didn't put an asset up here. The Oscars decided to make two categories. Uh -huh. Fan favorite film and favorite moment of cinema. Now, these moments were supposed to be lob softball questions for either Marvel or Disney movies to win. Right. It was supposed to be those lob questions. Well, they didn't expect the power of the most toxic fandom in the internet's history. The most exciting moment was voted as the flash going into the speed force from Zack Snyder's Justice League. And the fan favorite movie was Army of the Dead. And I tweeted this out. Army of the Dead is not the fan favorite movie. People were just fans of the director. There's a well, difference. I said, I said the same thing. I was like, did, did the... Did the, the restore the Snyder first folks vote for Army of the Dead? Yes, they so did. That, mm -hmm. Just so that, that, that as an actual statement that Justice League won because Justice League wasn't an eligible. Right. So in order for them yep. to do that, they voted for Army of the Dead as a placeholder because you kept swearing up and down and I didn't believe you, but you were right. Cinderella would have won if they didn't find a loophole. Yep. They found a fucking loophole. They found a loophole and Cinder Cinderella, Cinderella was going to win it. And so... This was meant to initially it wasn't meant for Cinderella, but Cinderella was going to win it. And so it, the, the Oscars probably is going to they're probably never going to do. They are not going to put another choice in the Internet's hands like that again. Thank you for watching Blurds in the Hood. If you haven't already, please like this video, subscribe, turn on notifications and share. For full episodes, join us every Tuesday and Thursday at 9 p.m. Eastern, 6 p.m. Pacific over at twitch.tv slash blurds, the letter N-T-H-E-H-O-O-D.